Welcome back everybody to another predecessor guide with zeal. Today we're going to be going over Countess and how to play this hero in five minutes or less. Countess is queued for mid lane and jungle, although you can play solo. It's not uh, as effective because you're wanting takedowns. So jungle allows her to be mobile and gank. Got good lock-on abilities for the jungle. And mid lane also because she builds so much magic damage, it's good to have a nuker that can roam either way from the mid lane. Basic attack, pretty low. Durability, pretty low. She does have a attack that allows her to move, but basically she's just a nuker. So you want to get on top of your target, drop your kit, and get out. Uh, her passive, hero takedowns permanently grant 1% magical lifesteal, stacking up to 10 times. Blade Siphon, Countess spins and strikes all targets around her, dealing X amount of damage plus magic damage and healing for extra per target hit. Against heroes, increased by 400%. So your magical lifesteal is quadrupled if you hit a hero. Uh, scales off of magic damage, and this is mostly what you're gonna be buying with Countess. Shadow Slip is your mobility, so it allows you to dash onto an enemy and get all your other attacks off. And it all also allows you to blink back to where you start. The enemy receives a 40% slow. Minions and non-epic monsters receive triple damage. So this is why you see Countess in the jungle. Shadow Slip can be used to secure river buffs in one hit. Even Tide, send out a cloud of darkness. It's basically a wall in front of you. Anything in the way takes a, some pretty serious damage. These are gonna be your main two wave clear abilities. And this is your mobility and engagement and disengagement ability here. Okay, so Feast, her ultimate ability. It says leap to an enemy hero. You don't leap to an enemy hero. You use Shadow Slip to do the leaping. This basically is just the animation. Uh, they're stunned for a second almost, and it does some pretty major damage, including percent max HP, which is huge, especially in the late game. It heals for 50% of the damage dealt as well, so that's pretty huge when you add this on top of the blood teeth. And any items you buy, that's a lot of magical life steal. The level six mark, you want to use this and try and get a kill. Depending on what role you choose, you will have different builds and ways to play this hero. Um, if you're playing in the mid lane, typically you want to farm and get XP until you reach level six and then try and make a gank happen from there or kill mid lane. So when you're playing Countess and you're level five, start setting yourself up to kill your opponent at level six and abuse that level timing. So now here, we know we're level five, we're close to level six, we're about to get feast. We just wanna set this Gideon up a little bit here, so. Pick on him, pick on him. Alt's ready. Okay, now he's close to half HP. Oh, whiff. Okay, see now this, fight's happening in left lane. I didn't have success in mid, so I'm gonna gank. So, there's the feast. Obviously, you have to be aware and when things are going on during the game, if you gotta be earlier, you gotta be earlier. But the best way to play Countess is to play around that timing. So when your ultimate is coming off cooldown, you're looking for a kill. You wanna be popping that ult as much as you can. So you wanna be active in the mid lane. You don't wanna be stagnant just clearing waves because that's not helping you scale the hero. If you decide that you wanna play this hero from the jungle, I recommend that you clear your buff and you look for an early gank on level two. This hopefully being able to use your shadow slip will force a blink out of the enemy hero in the lane. And once you come back around in a couple levels, you'll have a good opportunity to kill them after you've leveled up your abilities a little bit. But same thing goes for Countess in the Jungle as you're trying to get level six as fast as you can. Um, you do need to be active and help your teammates. So this Shadow Slip can be really effective as well as doing triple damage to creeps. So this is worth the ability points. And use this to try and force blinks out early. And that'll help with your level 3, 4, 5, and level 6 gank. And that level 6 gank is imperative that you hit the alt and get the kill. That'll give you a stack. That'll make sure your cooldown doesn't go to waste. That lets you go back to the jungle. It's it really uh, abusing that timing with Countess makes a really big difference in how this hero operates. 